energizer. So, Jackie, you're all set to go. Hello, Rebecca, looking a million dollars. Jackie, you're looking fantastic too. Archie? Kick ass tonight. Kick ass. Huge weight. Confident, relaxed. This is the show. Yeah, hey, man. Hey, buddy. Bloody <laughs> <Flat> idiot. <laughs> Welcome. Before anything, could you just look under your seats? I'm looking for Tony Barber. <laughs> Gosh. Big weekend. I had the biggest, biggest... Hello, everybody. How are you? <laughs> I had the biggest weekend. Went to a very lavish wedding. I'm talking about big. Big wedding. The wedding video was shot by Steven Spielberg. <laughs> of, um, Berg. An idea, Berg. The uh, no, people, these, this was a serious, serious wedding. People who actually own their own dinner jackets, big and lavish. There's one guy rolls up. He's got the Ferrari, four thousand dollar Italian suit. He's got the thousand uh, dollar French shoes, whole bit. And he was a waiter. <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> thank you very much for your support there. I appreciate that. Hell, I do, I do, I do, I do, 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 do. do. I, I drove to the wedding with the bride and groom and I looked a million dollars with the um, uniform and the cap. <laughs> and Sarah, my wife, was the matron of honour. She was the... Uh, she was. She was a matron. And who better to be a matron? There was... <laughs> no, she, she, well, which wasn't a bad effort because she'd only had the... She had only had the, uh, the baby three, three weeks ago. She had the dress with the stretch marks on it. <laughs> No, it's no problem, because she's not watching. She's, she's in bed, huh? She, no, she'd be, she had actually been on a diet to get... She'd been on a, a special uh, banana and coconut diet for the wedding. She, she actually didn't lose any weight, but you should see her climb a palm tree. <laughs> so, so, we, uh... <laughs> I was actually... Was a, sorry. Hello? It's Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> We have got the biggest ever lineup of guests. We've got a man whose entire, thanks Jane, very funny. A man whose entire body has been energized. He makes Tony Barber seem like he's on Valium. The one and only Jacko. <laughs> and the wedding video was actually shot by Steven Spielberg. <laughs> oh gosh, one of the stars of Channel 9's new In Your Own Time, Paul. Okay. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. One of the stars of Channel 9's new sitcom, all together now, a good friend, very good buddy, Rebecca Gibney joined us. Yeah. And it's come to this, we're going to give away to some lucky viewer $1,000 courtesy of Fitwear Lock Up Socks. <laughs> musically, musically, Archie Roach is taking his musical career in his hand. And if that wasn't enough, we're going to read millions and millions of hero <laughs> Whoa! A huge audience here tonight. Now, I, I, uh, with such a huge crowd, I would ask, as always, please, for your own personal safety, do not get overexcited, because accidents do happen, and... Uh... 
is precisely the sort of reaction I'm talking about. Have, <laughs> have I introduced the world's oldest profession, <laughs> Jack Degenkamp. How are you? Now that man, that man there overreacted and his hand fell off. I don't know, it's just exactly the sort of thing I'm talking about. We're going to lose limbs. How are you, Jackie? Oh, I'm very well tonight, thanks, Mr. Fizer. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The head's gone, someone's going to get hurt. Now, that's just precisely what I'm talking about. It's now time for the very latest news, the queen of the newsbeat, Ms. Jennifer. Hi. Thank you, Steve. Good evening. Hello, everyone. And Steve, that's our news tonight. Thank you, Jen, and excellently read. Probably brilliant news reading if I do so. Thank you. Uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more in just a minute. Stick around. This is... Good for me. The, uh, the political events in Western Australia over the last few days have prompted tonight's top seven. <laughs> the top seven comments heard at the lunch between Bob Hawke, Brian Burke and Laurie Connell. Top seven comments heard at the lunch between Bob Hawke, Brian Burke and Laurie Connell. Number seven. Bob, glad you could make it. Finish mowing Kerry's lawn already. Number six, could we have the check now? No, not you, waiter. I was talking to Laurie. <laughs> it's defamatory. Number five, leave them a tip. Uh, that's not the reason I'm putting a quarter of a million on the table. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Number four, Laurie, when we say it's BYA, you better believe it. <laughs> uh, number three, my friends, I promise that by 1990, no Australian child will be paying any gold tax. <laughs> Uh, number two, relax, Laurie. I know for certain there aren't any cameras here. Bob's not crying. <laughs> and the number one uh, comment heard at the lunch between Bob Hawke, Brian Burke and Laurie Connell. Uh, pass the salt, Laurie. Pass the pepper, Laurie. Pass us 250 grand, Laurie. <laughs> guest tonight is a friend of the show from its earliest days. She's one of Australia's most popular artiste actresses. Please welcome this year's Silver Logie winner, Rebecca Gibney. <laughs> Brought the sick bag tonight, Got Rebecca. The sick bag. I've upgraded. I've gone from a plain brown paper bag to a Hallmark come Chanel throw up bag. Oh. So Rebecca's <laughs> Rebecca's throw up tonight is sponsored courtesy of Hallmark. I um, get terrified. You, you shouldn't. Uh, why be terrified? Be because uh, this is the thing. People say you know you're an actress and you're supposed to. You know, be used to live audiences. It's different when you've got a script in your hand, you can pretend to be someone else, but when you're just plain old... I mean, how would you feel? I don't know if you get this. You walk down the street on a Saturday morning at 9 o'clock to get your meat from the butchers and you've got kids coming up and going, that's what you really look like? <laughs> Without your makeup on? I mean, you don't yeah. feel really good, so... You know. I, I, get, I get a little I get bit a of bit that. I get a bit scared. I get a bit of that. Now, bit uh, you're doing comedy at the moment, are you not? Yes or no? Are you pissed, by the way? No! <laughs> It's funny, I could have sworn, back, I could have sworn backstage time. you said, I'm pissed. <laughs> I hate you so Thank you. I've got some support there. Uh, doing, doing, doing comedy. Doing comedy? You know more about it than I do. Uh, altogether now is going great guns, obviously. Are you finding that easy? Is, is it working? It is. Um, well, I mean, who knows? The audience are laughing. Are you enjoying it? Are you... Yeah, I am. I am. Mm -hmm. It's good fun. 
What's the hardest part about making the transition? The audience. Yeah. <laughs> but because you, you perform in front of a in front of a live in front of a live audience. Who's pissed? In front of a live audience. Oh, I need to say, I am looking. Um, no, you're not. I am. Yeah, I'm looking. Are you really? Cut to the green room. <laughs> there is somebody in the green room. Now, you may have read little, read, read little snippets. <laughs> Hang on a second, what are you drinking? It's water, that's the worst part. Now, you may have read little uh, tidbits in various uh, places. Yes. But Rebecca has, is having a uh, relationship. <laughs> and... <laughs> In the, in the green room tonight is the person with whom Rebecca is having no, her relationship. he's relation. very sick. So. He is. He's crook as a dog, actually. He's got... Uh, he has. I'm serious. He's got, uh, he's got bronchitis, bronchitis and at the asthma. Moment. So. Uh, he, he's actually... We got him out of an ambulance. He, he thinks he's in <laughs> hospital. He actually thinks he's in a hospital at the moment, so let's pretend along. Jack Jones is in... Uh, where's Jack? Yeah. Jack. <laughs> Let's not overdo it now, Jack. <laughs> Great. Hey, hey Jack, why don't you come up and join Rebecca here and... <laughs> Let's get Jack up. Jack is coming up. How long have you two been going out? Let's have the oh, truth. Oh, here we go. The in-depth story. Go on. Rebecca, go. Nearly five months. Nearly five months. Now, how did you meet? Oh. Oh, okay, easy. Yeah, hang on. Jack, how, when, did you, when did you two meet? Um. <laughs> Look, get, can we have a close-up of the hand? <laughs> where, did, where did you meet? At, oh, God. I'll, just, I'll start this. At the, uh, at the Siebel Townhouse in Sydney. Yeah? Um, what the... were the circumstances? Uh, mm. <laughs> no. Jane Hall, who works on All Together Now, yes. um, her younger sister Meg has a mad crush on Jack. And I'd never, unfortunately, <laughs> heard of Jack Jones before. <laughs> oh, okay, but you were right. prepared to white hand her anyway. <laughs> but Meg, I rang Jane and said, Jack's staying at the same hotel, and she said, could you please get an autograph for Meg? She'd love you forever. So well, I you got more than an autograph. <laughs> <laughs> You kept the relationship secret. No, we didn't. <laughs> you, you didn't keep the relationship no, secret? I, no, the, the difference is we don't mind, I mean, we don't mind saying, yes, we're together, we're happy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. It's just you, you try and keep something private and obviously people are going to want to know, especially with Jack because he has a very large following. So, I mean, I don't mind saying that. We don't mind discussing it. It's just some things you want to keep private. Yeah. I mean, you know how it is, Steve. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, I wouldn't talk about my wife, for example. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, we haven't, we haven't tried to deny, we haven't denied it or anything. We've never said, you know, we're you're not, not having seeing a relationship. it. No, no. Mm -hmm. Well, Jack, what, what's the, what are Rebecca's best qualities? Oh. If you had to, if, in one sense, what, you know, be quite honest. Oh, where do I start? Does she have any good qualities? <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Best qualities. Um, it's very sensitive. Very uh, great ear. Um, she's uh, she you know, great ears. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Round, small. Yeah. With particular <laughs> reference to her left one. And her, and Jack, her worst, worst thing. What's her worst trait? If you had to name bit, one bit bad trait. Little, she's got a bit of a temper. This the old. <laughs> Give her. Oh, no, it's not that bad. I mean, <laughs> she's only let me have it a couple of times. Give us an example. Here, Just or... take an example. I mean, when was oh, the last time I... she lost a temper? Oh, gee. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. We've never had a fight before. <laughs> I've just heard that she has a big temper. You know. <laughs> Get out of this one, Jones. <laughs> <clears throat> and Jack, what's one bad trait? If you had to name one bad trait, he's a domestic cripple. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking? 
uh, we're talking, up, we're talking, well, yeah, he's not real. No, although he has improved. He has improved. He's done yeah, dishes actually, a lot yeah, lately. Actually, witnessed me washing dishes I have, yesterday. I have. But before that, he wasn't good on um, Now, there is, there is an age gap. Do you, I mean... Wh what age gap? How old are you? How old are you? I'm 20. You never told me. That. <laughs> there is there is a there is an age oh. gap. Do you see that as significant in any way? No. <coughs> no. The fact that you're all. 52 and I think. <laughs> <laughs> and believe me, Rebecca, you look fantastic. You know, you're coming up. With, I've got the super. I've got a bag over your head. Who needs to bump it? Is it, I mean, is that, do you see that as significant in any not, way? It's, it hasn't come up at all in the conversation. I mean, mm -hmm. not once has it been discussed. So. Never? It's not a problem at all, no. All right. Until now. Until I, until I raised it on national television. <laughs> Sorry. Wedding bells? Have we got wedding bells happening? Any, any plans? Oh, she looks at me. <laughs> sink a little bit further. Jack, have you got any plans happening? Ah, uh, no, it's a bit early. Well, I'm in of an Well. Something could have happened during the ad break. We're going to uh, push this point a little further. We're going to be back after the break with uh, with a wedding proposal, as it turns out. <laughs> to tell us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually, I did propose to Rebecca during the commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what did you say? None of your business. <laughs> yeah. Was, within a bee stick we were. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, within a bee stick? Another ad break and I reckon we're just about there. <laughs> Now, uh, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we've uh, got another guest coming on, and uh, he'll, be on. <laughs> he'll be on any minute now. Can I just <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, one of Australia's dinky, I suppose that's the cue, really, isn't it? One of, Australia's, leave, <laughs> one of Australia's dinky die characters is our next guest, champion. Footballer turned actor turned battery flogger. <laughs> Would you please welcome Jacko? Yeah! Rebecca. Oh, so, you, so you like Sean Stubby oh, yeah. and the Rockstars, eh? Uh, I'm kidding. Jack, I've got the biography here, and yeah. uh, if I could just actually run through the biography. Uh, it speaks for itself. 1984. Hey, no, I'm sorry. 1984, the biography, Jacko, Dumb Like a Fox. Yes, that was a book. It was in the best sales for six weeks. <laughs> Uh, the, and that was the year you also recorded the hit single, I'm an Individual. Yes, went to number one on the rock and roll charts, just like the rock and roll. Yay! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, Support! <laughs> and, uh, 1985 was a big year. You were sent to North America as football ambassador for and Australia. And did a great job and got uh, Australian rules football known worldwide. <laughs> Thank you very much! 1986, of course, saw you have four professional heavyweight boxing yeah. matches. One of them all! Yeah. And in fact, that took you to the sixth ranking in the heavyweight division in, in Western Australia, mate! <laughs> 1987 was a big year. Uh, you headed up the Queensland Health Department's 
anti-smoking campaign. And it was had tremendous success in Queensland. Unbelievable. And it, was that, it went that well in Queensland, it went to Canberra and did a great job for the kids. Turned a lot of kids off cigarette smoking and uh, turned a lot of mums and dads off their kids. <laughs> We, uh, now, 1989, Football Mania. Football Mania, now that was a biggie. I couldn't help that one, I ran that promotion myself, you know, I was expecting 20,000 there, we got about 30 people to the... <laughs> it was one of my uh, favourites. Highlight? Highlight of the career or...? My engagement record. Oh, you, you've been engaged? I've been engaged three times, three lovely girls. Uh, the first one... <laughs> The first one left me for another bloke, the second one left me because she didn't like me, and the third one left me she, after she tried to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and now I do energise a battery commercial. The, uh, the, the... You, you're still going, Steve. No, I'm still, no, this is an exceptional biography, if I do say so. The, uh, the US television series, The Highwayman. The Highwayman. Uh, yep. It, uh, it was, how would you best describe that? As a flu, because I've never, <laughs> I've never read a book in my life and then... I this, believe. <laughs> it's hard to believe, yeah. And uh, I got offered this 80 page script to do and read and, and do this television series in prime time in America. And of course I went over there telling them I was this and that and I've done this and done that, give me that, no worries, you know, and they're going to pay me 35000 an episode, so I take it. <laughs> so I go out to Phoenix and they give me this 80 page your script and uh, I lost about three stone that night. I thought I had to know the whole 80 pages in one night. <laughs> <laughs> when, you've never, when you're never, you're not a prolific reader, I mean, you do start to sweat when you... Do you, you, know. do you read it all? Yeah, I read it all. I got up to page two. <laughs> <laughs> and my bed was soaking wet. And then about four o'clock in the morning... Because it's fairly stressful reading, isn't it? Is. <laughs> three pages come under the door with... Um, I think it was, uh, yes, no, all right, I'll see you at the back. They were the only lines I had to know on my first day, so it was pretty easy. Well, we actually have, a, we actually have an excerpt from The Highwayman. I think it stands yeah, as a, man, as a this monument. This is good viewing. Yes, mate! You parked that rinky-dink little vehicle in my super-powered truck's place? <laughs> Whoa! You left your lights on. <laughs> Here, I'll straighten it out for you. I wrote that word. Man. You must have learned a lot about acting over there. What what would you give any tips for young actors, Jacko? Oh yeah, just just be. Have, you got to have. Uh, you, <laughs> you just got to have a lot of courage. You got to have things as. Big as a cabbage, you know, and you just got to get in there and tell her. Things as big as a cabbage. cabbage. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just got to tell her. You got to climb them You're, you're halfway there, Rebecca. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the, the boxing career. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you consider sixth mm -hmm. ranked heavyweight champion in Perth, that's, mm -hmm. that's a good step. Any... Well, I think as a footballer, it led to a lot of coverage uh, Australia wide, and I, I knew that the opportunity would arise that I could take. Um, you know, uh, take possession of a lot of money if I got the right role and diversifying. <laughs> diversif so you're no, you're motivated me, by art. Excuse me. I diversified into a lot of different areas, things I knew about and things I didn't know about. And I thought, well, when the football career come to an end and come crashing down, which it did, I'd have all these other areas that I could dabble into. You get what I'm saying? I knew that I could take possession of a lot of money. <laughs> Well, I did, mate. It was like robbing the bank. We, um... <laughs> There's a Jacko robot uh, over there. Yeah, yeah. The what's, Jacko... what's the thinking behind this? Is there any thinking behind this? Well, Energizer bought, <laughs> Energizer bought the uh, doll out for the toy show, and uh, it's an exercise doll, and it does all these different exercises with a lot of violence around in the community today. Uh, with dolls and stuff, they're always shooting or throwing spears or something. They bought out an exercise doll that does all different exercises. That's not it, but it's mm. going to be out in two months. So. Does, does what is over there bear any relationship to what we're talking about? That's me boy, mate. That's me son. <laughs> we're going to take a break while we watch Jacko's son do what it does best. Thank <laughs> you.